Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another cartoon at TMNT video, and I gotta say I'm pretty stoked on this one. I have had this for quite some time. I did pick it up at Target months ago, and uh, I'm just finally getting into it now. So straight from the Negatoys cartoon TMNT line, we have the cartoon TMNT accessory set, which I gotta say, the artwork on the front of the box is phenomenal well done on the back side of the box you get to see everything that this accessory set comes with now just keep in mind it does not have the rat king it doesn't have baxter stockman but we get new figures technically right of four baby turtles and big mac and i'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with all these accessories here's a quick rundown of everything in the box and just to point out there is only one vhs tape not two as it says on the box so no you are not missing one now last week on my channel we took a look at the batman versus spawn two pack where i also hosted a melinda's hot sauce giveaway melinda's is amazing if you're a huge hot sauce fan i highly recommend them i love them myself and uh, I like doing the, the, the hot ones, like wing dab kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's corny. I know. But we have two new winners for the contest. So a huge congratulations, first and foremost, to Jaysoo67. He says, spawn all the way. Yeah, this set is cool, but meh. I agree they needed to have made the figures in the set based off of comic arts in this package. And I totally agree with you, Jaysu67. So yes, you are a winner of one of the hot sauce giveaways. Likewise, a huge congratulations to Dom Life, who says, depends who is writing it. People don't like it when Batman loses. Spawn is OP for days though. I'll say tie. They'll just end up teaming up as per the usual agreement. Yeah, I, I would say that's true as well. So congratulations, Dom Life. You are also winning in Melinda's hot sauce giveaway. And likewise, over on my Instagram subscription service, Mike Black is back. You have also won a Melinda's hot sauce giveaway. So I will be in touch with all of you guys. Send me your info at your earliest convenience. I'll get it on over to Melinda's and they will get it out to you ASAP. So again, thank you to everyone who entered. Thank you to everyone who continues to watch my YouTube channel. More giveaways are coming soon. And also, a huge thank you to Melinda's. Not only do I love their hot sauce, but they are just lovely people in general. So if you'd like to see more contests like hot sauce or coffee or whatnot, tell me your favorite companies. Maybe uh, we can do something later down the road, right? But in the meantime, oh, we got a uh, TMNT accessory pack to check out. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee and maybe a slice of the old pizza pie as well. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys cartoon TMNT, the accessory set. And while I got all you accessories to action figure collecting here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here's everything out of the box. You get a lot of accessories in this. It really just adds to your cartoon at TMNT collection. And that's what I love most about this line. Now, you do get the turtle tracker and... As tiny as it is, look at the detail. Look at the paint on this. All the wires, all the doodads, everything looks amazing on this. So very happy to have this wackadoo device, right? And it fits perfectly into the hands of Baxter Stockman. And look at that. He ended up finding some turtles with his turtle tracker. Now this one is totally solid and one that has kind of left me scratching my head and why we haven't gotten this sooner. But this is Rocksteady's helmet. And as you can see, yeah, it goes perfectly right onto his head. Now, he doesn't have it all the time in the cartoon, but he definitely does have it in the opening episodes. You also do get this extra head portrait for Baxter Stockman when he went kind of wackadoo and uh, took the Shredder's helmet, essentially. So it looks good. Baxter Stockman looks definitely unhinged. And if you pop off the head from that pre-mutation set... Well, there you go. You got a wicked wild 
Baxter Stockman. Now, you do get two of the little pizza monsters, but this time around, they're crawling. And I like that. At least it's different. It's totally cool. You take the pizza that this accessory set comes with. You have the prior one. It looks awesome. And next up, we have the Star of Hoboken Diamond. It's got some nice little weathering effects to it. It looks pretty darn cool for being this accessory, right? And you can give it to Shredder, who can then pass it off to Big Louie. So totally cool accessory there. From the episode Leonardo Lightens Up, you have Donatello's personality modifier, and it's beautifully painted, nicely done. You have all the little black accent marks along with little dips of paint here and there. So you can give it to Donatello, which can aim it at Leonardo and hopefully Leonardo can lighten up. And for Donatello as well, or really any turtle, it could fit in their hands. You get a little blowtorch. And I think that that's kind of cool because you can have Donatello coming soon working on the turtle van. Now you do get an extra mouser. If you never got the mouser multi-pack, well, Look no further. You have a mouser now, right? It's got some articulation in the mouth, in the neck as well, and on the legs and the feet. It's really nice. Highly recommend the mouser pack if you can get a hold of one, but overall, it's just a nice little figure. And like I said, you can add this one to your mouser collection and they can chase down and destroy some turtles. Now, you do get a pizza box. It's a all white pizza box. It says pizza groove on there, right? Opens up and you get a pizza, which is perfect for the Ninja Turtles. It's perfect for an accessory set. And I love how the pizza is removable. I do wish that it came off into slices though. I think that that would have been really cool, but it has nice graphics. So you can have Michelangelo and Raphael digging in, right? For a slice of the old pie. You do get a very ornate picture frame of cheese, right? Of course. Now on the back, it does look like you can hang it. So perhaps on the upcoming sewer layer, you can hang it in the layer. But yeah, it does go perfectly for the Rat King, right? It's very on the nose. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty darn cool with him holding it. Now this is Big Mac, and it comes from one of the later TMNT episodes. It's a robot from the future. Totally wackadoo episodes. And what episodes of the cartoon TMNT are not wackadoo but it's a very cool figure and one that definitely fits into the accessory pack i will say he has minimal articulation but for what is there he does everything that basically he needs to do the little laser can in the back will swivel at the waist he will swivel nothing moves at the base the tracks the treads that does not move the head sort of pivots a little bit so you get momentum out of that and as you can see right here at the top where this laser gun is this actually removes so then you can take this added little piece which is essentially a cap right and that'll fit right on there so you can have the laser installed or you can have the cap on there either which way but uh, yeah it's a pretty good looking big mac and i think that he goes really well with all of your cartoon TMNT figures. So not too shabby at all. Next up, we have a backpack for, I believe this is when all the turtles leave. It's one of Splinter's odd plans. It doesn't open. It has some nice paint on there and it really does work well if you want to put it on say, Michelangelo. Now, you do get a video game console, which I absolutely love, right? You get a little bit of an Atari, a little bit of a Super Nintendo mixed in there. It's great. I do wish that it had a little wire as it kind of shows in the back of the video game console to attach to the TV. It's a little odd, but you could have Michelangelo play in the video games, right? And speaking of which, you're going to need a television to play those video games on. And I absolutely love the way this looks. It's right in the cartoon. You got book stacking where it's missing the leg. You can see Viacom NECA on the bottom, the backside, the sides, everything about this is just an old school television. And the VCR is removable, so you can have it on there. You don't have to. It's up to you. And then right here, you can see that you get a VHS, which is amazing, right? It's very simplistic, not too crazy, but it fits into the VCR. How awesome is that? That takes me back right there. And to get it out, eject it, you just turn it over right so the whole top of the tv comes out you can see the little slit right here right well that's where you can install some screens and you get lots of television screens like ace duck or you get bebop and rocksteady trying to escape the screen you have donatello from that one episode where he's pretending to be 
cowboy you got a little bit of a godzilla you also get some black and white screens which i really appreciate i think that that's really cool you get the video game screen you get april o'neill live from channel six and you get vernon from channel six right but we'll go ahead and go with april so all the turtles can sit around and watch april o'neill on the tv screen just like in the cartoon and it simply fits just like that and what's fun is that you can even slip in the vhs tape and hit record and you can record your favorite channel six broadcast right and then finally we have four baby turtles which are all kinds of adorable right leo raf donnie and mikey and mikey is just so cute right now all the turtles come with their respective weapons only miniaturized right so that is really nice to see and each of them do have articulation Donatello is no different. He comes with a little mini bow staff. If I had any complaints about these little baby turtles is that they can be kind of hard to stand. That's the only thing. The articulation, the feet, everything works with them. I didn't have to heat anything up, but they're a little bit back heavy with their giant heads and their shells and whatnot. So just keep that in mind. And with Leonardo, you get little baby katanas, a little smile on them. He's so cute. Anyways, the articulation, right? You got it in the head. It's all ball joint right there. The arms will go up. They'll go and rotate if you'd like. Nothing at the hands. And then the legs will actually kick out as well. They'll go forward. They'll go back. And then you have articulation in the feet. There's nothing at the waist. Nothing like that. Nothing at the hands, unfortunately. But you get the idea. Nicely articulated. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new-ish, the Negatoys Cartoon TMNT Accessory Pack. A very cool accessory pack, I will say. I'm very much looking forward to getting the party wagon, the turtle van, right? That's coming soon. And then, yes, they did launch pre-orders for the sewer lair. I'm going to say it with everybody else, man, that's expensive. But I love this line, and I will be getting one. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, as I've said over and over again, I can't wait to see what the future brings for the Cartoon TMNT. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.